Hello, my name is Wen Zhen. I'm the product manager of Kriti. Kriti harnesses the power of AI in product design and is a small team led by designers focusing on innovative solutions. Today, we'll talk about our fun updates on Kriti Wizard, which what many of our users have asked for. As many of you know, in Kriti Wizard, you can draw a marquee and then drag and drop design components onto your canvas. About three months ago, while we we're interviewing designers from Silicon Valley. They suggested it would be super helpful if the wizard could generate components based on their team libraries. This would streamline their ideation process, save their time of editing, and quickly integrate design concept into their brand visuals. While perfecting this feature will take a lot of time with AI, we have decided to release the first round of update. Our AI now can recognize your color system radius. Shadow design elements such as buttons, badges, input field, text, and more. Let's show you how to use this feature in Creti. There are three scenarios I will talk you through. Very first one, our wizard recognizes your team library. If your team library includes well-labeled elements such as colors named in primary, secondary, outline. And components use button, badges, checkbox, search bar, etc. Make sure your library is published for your team access. When you design a new file, connect your file to the team library. When you're activating Creative Wizard, the component from your team library will be auto ranked at the top, allowing you to drag and drop them instantly. The second scenario. If you're semi-drafting components during your design process, which means you might create a new style button doing A/B tests, if you're creating components that you ideate within the same file, such as button or search bar, the Creative Wizard will recognize those styles. When you activate a Wizard, it will generate a design that utilizes your component. The generated design are connected to your main components, which means you may change the icons or color of the main component to make change on all the child components. And the third scenario, super fun. I enjoyed it just to have fun to play with it. So if you're exploring freely and playing with your design, perhaps you're starting with a mood board, some kind of color palette. You can drag a marquee within the same frame where your color palettes are, and then enter the prompt of the component you want. Our AI will show you, based on where you draw the marquee, what component you would like to select. Once you select insert, the component will update to match your color palette you have created within the same frame. The key color used will be based on the frequency of appearance or the amount of area the color occupies within the frame. Please let me know how you think about this update. If you have any creative ways of using the Creative Wizard, feel free to share them on LinkedIn or Twitter. Don't forget to follow Creative. See you next time.